story. This was written back in back in 2011 and now it is 2020, <laughs> December 2020. And the Lord put it upon my heart to search again online for the 1950 Tiny Tears doll. And I actually argued with that. I thought why should I do it again and only get hurt? But I really felt it impressed upon my heart. So I did so. And as soon as I went I went as soon as I went online, there she was, this nineteen fifty Tiny Tears doll. And I had to put a bid on her, which I did. Found out later that I won. And then she was on her way here. Well here she is. <laughs> The 1950 Tiny Tears doll that's not doing too good. When she arrived, she was really smelly, smelly like mold, and uh, didn't know what was going on. So um, I took a doll technology course many years ago, so I kind of put that to work and also went online trying to find out how to fix her and how to save her. And uh, I did use um, gain 
laundry detergent, only one tablespoon with hot water, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And that helped to get the really bad smell and all the mold markings on her off, which I was really excited about. And uh, from my course that I took, and from this lady on a farm at one time where I purchased two rubber dolls, she told me that in order to preserve rubber, to use baby oil. So I did three treatments of baby oil on her. She had lost both of her baby fingers one that the previous owner had fixed on this side and one that I had to fix on this side. Um, she's got crackling and when an old doll starts to crackle they are deteriorating and there's not a whole lot one can do. So I don't know how long I'm going to have with her but I'm just thanking the Lord for for her. And there's her Kleenex, <laughs> which I might need. <laughs> Tiny tears, it says right on it. And she actually, this is her original outfit that was in the box. And this is what she was wearing, which says Tiny Tears right on it. And she even came with her, with her bottle. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? So never give up on, on the Lord and your heart's desire because... God knows your heart and the timing of everything and her and I are going to age together. <laughs> I don't know how much time I have in life either and I don't know how much time she has but we will grow old together and I'll try to keep her in good shape as long as I can. Anyways, I thought I'd share this true story with you in case there's somebody out there with an old doll that they don't know what to do with or how to fix and Baby oil is the trick with the rubber, but if they are crackling and deteriorating from the inside, if you see white on the white on their eyes turning yellow, which hers is, then you know that something wrong is going on inside. And I really don't want to take her all apart and see the problem right now because there is no parts for her and there's no way that I can repair her. So I just got to hang on to her the way she is. So that's my story, my true story <laughs> of Tiny Tears. God bless and thank you for listening.